Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Micro Monkey, and um, I'm here to do a little bit of a cool show off for you. Um, this is the uh, Open Computers mod. Now, yeah, there may be a lot of stuff here. Um, I kind of just don't worry about some of these. I'll figure them out later on. Um, this one I'm still trying to figure out. Um, it says if I hold this button, it can see stuff. Um, so, let me start you off from the beginning here. We're going to grab one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. And I just use these for constant um, output. It's from a different mod that I'll be showcasing next. Um, so to start off, you need to get a computer base, which this is a tier three, just to let you guys know. So I'm gonna do this for tier two, and I'm gonna make this huge screen, just that way you guys can see if I look up there. Um, let me quickly go here. As long as this keyboard is in front of it, it will work. See how it's opening the GUI? So, um, then next up, when you put the power converter here, I'm using a build craft engine, and we'll quickly just set this all up. So, get the power flowing through there. Alrighty, now there's a few simple components you guys are going to need when starting one out, which would be your central processing unit. Um, since we're doing a tier 3 tower, I'm going to do tier 3 items, but you're going to want to get tier 1. Um, you're going to want to get two things of RAM, um, a graphics card, um, a hard drive. Since I'm using tier 3, again, I'll be using tier 3 items. Um, <coughs> Sorry, I had a little something in my eye there. Um, you'll need a EEPROM Lua BIOS. You'll need the open um, OS thing here. So there's a few simple things that we can do with this after we're done setting it all up. So I might do a whole thing on here. So first things first, we're going to throw in the EEPROM. And then we're going to put in the floppy disk. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, because you guys shouldn't have one yet. Have, shouldn't have a tier 3 yet. We'll do this. We'll throw the floppy disk into here. Um, look in this. Throw in that. Throw in that. Uh, we'll throw in our central processing. And we'll do that. Um, so I'll be showing you guys multiple things pretty much and a few of them will be pretty cool I guess so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in here turn it on let's get the computer all loaded up so now we can see here that it's uh, looking at some stuff so if I do oh sorry I have caps on if I do mount You'll see that since we have a hard drive in, it's right here. So then we'll just type in install. And it'll ask us which one we want. And we'll do one. And then it does all this, showing that it's installing all the files. Hang on, guys. Let me... Um, Hang on, I gotta fix something. Hey, why isn't my uh, HUD working here? Huh, that's weird. Oh, I just realized that I already did that. So now it says all done, set to boot device. Um, so quickly go here and just push enter. It'll reboot the whole machine now. Now we can take out that and get rid of the floppy disk drive and all that. 
And if you look here, we got OpenOS now. So what exactly do we want the program to do? That's a good question. So let me go quickly copy one over here onto this disk drive. So now if I go in here and I search mount, there's all that. Um, so now I think if I do, uh, let's see. Well then you know what, let me quickly see if I can go into good and then we'll do Now it's there, and then we can do this to change back. Or we can do a good old reboot here. And then we can do ls, okay, ed edit. So we're going to want all this. So just because I'm still kind of new, I'm, uh, let me write this down. I mean, it's, I just barely learned this mod. I'm still kind of getting used to it. So you guys are going to have to bear with me for some of these things. I'll cut to a point where I'm done writing all this down. Alrighty guys, so now that I'm able to do all this, let's quickly go Okay, and then we'll do So because we want to make it to where the touch screen here which any tier 10 or any tier 2 screen can touch screen you just gotta shift right click um, unless there's no keyboard then you can just right click but since there's a keyboard this will open up 
So we're going to type in local event space equals space require Remember guys, just follow along with me. Um, so what this program will be doing is it will make it to where wherever we touch the screen an X will pop up. And all we have to do, if we just bam, 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 bam. So all we have to do is finish putting in all this. And this will make it to where whatever we are doing and wherever we touch the screen and this is the end statement to finish the um, thing. So now if we hit control S Control W, then we can shut down this computer and pull out my disk. Now watch, if I bring the disk over here and I quickly just type in the mount command again. You'll see right here, now we have our mount and um, hang on guys, uh, turn the hostile creatures down, turn that down a little bit too. Um, so now if we go back in here, you can see right here this, so then we'll just change the directory again to the mount ff0, take us straight to it, and then we can do tut3. And now that it's running, whatever we touch, it will place an X. See, we can, we can change all the text out of here into X's. And then to interrupt, you push Control Alt C. So let me just, let me clear out the screen and then do a rethink of the program. So now you can do one, Two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. So, uh, yeah, it's really not that hard. I mean, wherever you click, I mean, like, even with the touch screen here, if I click anywhere like this, see? Look at I can even change all that up there. Here, we'll just quickly do this to make it a little bit faster because I want to do this whole border of X's just to make it fun. Whatever, that works. So, I'll quickly interrupt that. So yeah guys, um, that's what we can do there. Um, if we pull this out and then we reboot, let it load up the initial one here. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys would be this here 3D printer which you're going to need some uh, Calium. And you're also going to need, 
from what I've learned, three of the white lined ink cartridges because uh, it's not good. So just because I want to make this easier on me and I want to show you guys what it looks like over here, I'm going to use a cable to, nice, to do a nice little hookup. Um, hang on, let me just give my robot this. Hey robot, hold this for me. Okay, so now we have this, and if we do mount, doesn't show the 3D printer. Um, one other thing you need for this is this one right here, this internet card. If you don't have an internet card, you can't install this program. So we'll install the internet card, and then we'll retry mount, and there's our internet. Um, the next thing is to make... I think it was the OPPM. So let's throw that in the system. And then we will do mount one last time here. Then we do OPPM install. Then we have to select which one we want it to. So we're going to go to that one. Now if you look right here, it is starting to install the packages, and you know what, just for the sake of this, I will pull out one extra mod just to make this go a little bit faster. Okay, let's make it daytime. So now that we have all that ready, we just go in here, push enter, it's going to reboot. We can pull out the disk now, get rid of it, quickly fill up the ink in here. So two stacks of that will get you a full thing. Um, so it's really not that bad. So now if we go... Mount. What if we do OPPM? Okay, let's do OPPM negative I. Wait, what if we do OPPM install? There we go. So I'm pulling out one of the directories here, it's installing the package to the main hard drive. The package does not exist. Okay, why don't we just do OPP M install examples. See what it says here. Package does not exist. Let me turn on my computer. OPPM Here we go, OPPM list
Okay, so if we do OPPN. Install. Let's try this one out. Look back here into the list. GML hyphen examples. GML hyphen examples. Print 3D hyphen examples. OPP M in stall print 3D examples. There we go. This is the print 3D. So, after it's done checking for the files, now it's installing. I can hear it going onto the drive. Okay, now if we do print 3D slash user slash share slash models slash uh, pillar underscore base dot 3dm. Look right here. Look what I just 3D printed, guys. Isn't that amazing? And if you don't want it anymore, you just do that. I quickly. Okay. What time is it? You know, just to make it easier, game. Rule do day day light now the sun shouldn't be moving which means I don't need you okay guys so another one would be Let's do print 3D user share models um, what was it, what was it, what was it, what was it? Well dot three DM. You guys are going to like this one. This one's pretty cool. Look at that. There, we'll just throw the material back in there. Isn't that cool? Now what's even better is if I need a torch or something, we'll just quickly do this. So let's say I want a redstone torch, right? It's the only torch they have for this. So then if I go here and I do this, now look if I shut this off, once the engine stops, this will give off an actual redstone signal. Let me turn on back on my power. We'll quickly put the torch back. Um, another one that's cool is the... Um, There's multiple things, so B-U-T-T-O-N. -T 
button. Now this button's pretty cool. I mean, I don't see any issues with it, you know? So if I... Apply the redstone signal. Which I think is pretty darn cool. Um, so let's go OPPM list again. Let's see what we have here because I saw some other stuff that I want to check out. That one. Where are you? Song examples. Let's quickly install those. And while we do that, I might as well get the next part of this mod set up. Take a look into that. Hmm. Either way, guys, let's just quickly and then just for the uh, purposes of being a good person, bam, computer shut down. Okay, so this here is pretty cool, so um, give me about 10 seconds and I'll cut to when I have all the things needed. All right, guys, and we're back. Um, actually, I forgot one thing here. So, there we go. Two, sorry. So, now that we have everything that we need, let's grab the first main parts, which is that, 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 those, 
that, that, and that. Now, you, you would notice up here that I do have the OpenOS disk again. Well, what I did is I went back into the computer and I installed OpenOS to this disk. Um, so, if you look right here, it says insert a base. So, we do that. Um, I'll throw in the screen, the disk drive, um, put the keyboard down here. We'll install our RAM and all that. Do that. Install our EPOM. Um, so now that we have all this, let's get our secondary parts. Okay, so now we have this. So we can install this, this, and this. So each complexity depends on the tier. If you have three, then it's 24. If you have two, it's 18. You get it. Um, so after you have all these on, it'll have everything set up, and then you can hit the assemble button. So now if you go here, and pull out your robot. Well, let's find out what you can do. Turn them on. So robots are basically compiled between Lua code and other stuff. So if we want to control the robot, we have to do the Lua scripts. So as you saw, I typed in Lua there, and um, it's basically a new way to be typing. Um, so when I'm typing, if I want to move the robot, let's say right, I go. I forgot one part. You need the parentheses to make it do what it wants. So make it do what you want it to do. So now if you look at moved, it was originally facing that way. You can even make it go up. And then you can also make it go oops, sorry. So now if you look, I've got it right here, and then we can I always forget about the parentheses. See? You'll notice that he's floating, but if I tell him to shut down, he goes and he sits. This he doesn't have to sit on. Um, so I have a little setup over here and I have a little lever in there with the secret mods room. With the secret room mod um, to turn off, to open this door. And doing this I can actually show you. That's right. We gave him that, didn't we? What happens if I use it? I need to find out its mounting address. So they don't respond to any touch, which is okay. Um, you do notice that they do end up taking different power, so let me reboot them. feel very good. Um, so we can take this out and I will go and put this over here. Um, just put it in his inventory. Right there. So with the movements and stuff like I told you they do run off Lua um, so it has to be a robot for word with the parentheses. I'm going to do that twice. And so now we can do If I'm correct, he should be facing that way again, yep. Now, what's cool is he does have actions like a human, so if he needs to, he can go. Let's 
see right over here. Door just open. And then we can bring him back. Now that I have him turned back around, we can just walk in and close the door. Um, so let's just quickly shut down my dude that I made earlier with this little setup, which I could probably shut down everything here. So, and then shut down the engine as well. So I've shown you what I need to show you, except for this dude. He has a few other things he can do. So let me quickly do this. Just give him a diamond pick. Why not? Be special. Um, so you you can see there that he has something there. So if I do this little wall. Let's see, it's three forwards, a right, and then I'll just keep going forward until they don't move forward no more. Always forget about the stupid parentheses. facing the correct way now. Put him down onto the floor. Okay, so now we're going to do this. You noticed he just broke that. So then, if I go and then he can even play stuff. So if I do. Should be on the floor now. Ta -da. And then if I do a nice little shutdown, mine will try it like this. We can grab him. So yeah, these little robots are pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this mod I need to show you because there's a few other things I'm trying to learn at the moment, like this. Um, I'm also trying to Learn how to get into these. What's this build one though? Open loader, IRC, dig, network. Yeah, here, let's take a look. Wait, I got a nice little tier 3 computer right here. Gotta have it on first though. Look at the mount. Mace. MNTA2A. Okay. So then if I do CD. 
What if I do maze install? Install. No writable disk found. Hmm. Okay, so let's just change the directory to. Interesting. Huh. I'll try it out on mine. Let me completely shut down this computer here. There, empty screen. I guess I put in the wrong disk drive. Oh, he still has it. Give me that. Um. Just in case any of you guys are wondering, I am using the Sword Art Online Futuristic Hub. HUD. So let's quickly install that. Now what if I do... Okay. That's weird. Well guys, looks like I figured something out that I didn't even know about yet. There, let's install this disk again. Let's see if I can't. I do Now if I do Ah, so that's how you get stuff over. Uh, 
have this dude hold on to it for me. I might have to take a little bit more look into this maze disc. I think I know what this one's for. Install on. For some reason I seem to be messing up a lot tonight. There's almost one. Um, LS. What's plan 9000? What's on here? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and I will get back to you next time.